I finally have my Fogstar battery now installed, set up and configured. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're currently upon 3 kilowatts from the battery. Uh, basically nothing from the grid. Uh, we go down and we look at it. We can go on and we can look at the battery information. We can see the temperature cells. We can see the cycle, so you can tell it's literally just out of the box. And oh, this could be very enjoyable. Take the plastic off the first time. And we can see the voltage of each of the cells. And you can see the no alarms. And then for this, I went into the can and for me, a uh, pylon, that's what I actually had before and that's been no issue. Um, I did have an issue and can't be embarrassed to say this. I was wondering why it wasn't working originally. Um, I have it connected up through the can and stuff, but this <laughs> they catch anyone else out but this is actually turned off uh, the front of it and stuff was still usable um, but um, yeah it was actually turned off so when you do get this make sure that you turn it up turn it on by pushing this up when I received it it was back here and didn't realize until much later that's what my problem was um, okay so it's the, uh, the load from the systems now died down um, but what I did do um, when I got the battery uh, set up I spoke to uh, Solus and I got them to put on the latest version of the firmware um, so that allows me to take the battery down to a lower state because originally it would only allow me to take the battery down to 10% um, I think it's a little bit lower now I can take it down um, so that's good uh, so I can get the full use of the battery being on LFP um, any questions um, please put in the comment section hopefully you find this useful